This player is a complete menace, going around the server, destroying bases and killing players for no reason all without anyone doing anything about it. And nobody knew how to stop this guy because he had access to the only pieces of netherite armor on the server which can't even be crafted. Having this advantage over everyone gave him the power to do whatever he wanted until now. It's 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 it. Oh my god! We managed to kill him and took his current netherite pieces but this didn't change anything. He was even more ruthless than before, hunting me down and killing me to retrieve what he lost. It became clear that in order to stop this player for good, we needed to keep the netherite set from him so he wouldn't ever be as powerful again. And in order to do this, I needed to attend a certain event, the Border Expansion. For context, the border is expanding to double its size, which will also reveal the netherite pieces that had been lost to the void. Now, it was pretty obvious that Mugum was going to try to attend the event, so he could get the missing pieces to become even stronger, so I had to put a stop to him. So I got my most trusted teammate Pookie and a few others to make sure we could stop Mugum from getting the netherite. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my God. Let's go. The way this event worked was that a buffed warden would spawn at a random set of coordinates and once it dies, it will drop the remaining netherite pieces. Soon after the border expanded, the coordinates of the warden fight were displayed to the entire server and we managed to get to the battlefield first. But it was only a matter of time before the enemy would begin to arrive, so we had no choice but to fight them for the netherite armor. Fighting Mugum? The warden's aggro on me, I repeat. I, I don't... Yeah. Get Muggum. Muggum's on me. I killed Tarwich! Tarwich dead! Oh, he's coming, he's coming! Run! We had been fighting for a while now, and amidst all of it, nobody had even realized the warden had escaped into the nether, meaning that whoever got into the nether first basically got the netherite. And we were too focused on Muggum trying to enter one portal that we didn't realize he could just build another one. And so he managed to escape into the nether and. Pookie's in the lava! Holy yes, shit, go the world! Yes. Go! 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 This wasn't good. We chased Muggum around the world for about 30 minutes, but he ultimately ended up getting away. It was at this moment that I realized just how difficult it would be to complete this seemingly simple task. Muggum was closer than ever to getting the full netherite set, and it was clear that he would stop at nothing until he got them all to become nearly unstoppable. And if he managed to get all the pieces, who knew the havoc he would wreak on the server, and especially my team, for simply getting in his way. But for now, we had to focus on our next move. And I had a plan revolving around these magical gems. On the Bliss SMP, you get one of seven gems, each with different powers. I currently have the Astro Gem, which can shoot daggers that do three hearts each. If I combine that with the Life Gem, which can bring you down to six hearts, we could potentially two-shot Muggum, getting all his netherite before he becomes an even bigger threat to the server. So after my teammate Pookie switched to the Life Gem, we went to spawn knowing that a plan like this cannot fail if we do it right. But when we went to spawn and spotted Muggum, we didn't attack him. Our nerves were getting to us. We just remembered that we were trying to kill the best player on the server and it dawned on us that losing this 2v1 was still definitely a possibility. Starting to get a little antsy bro. I'm shaking a little. Okay, that's serious. What the freak this should we do? <sighs> okay, okay. Should we try to drop him? We were beginning to second guess this entire thing despite having such a simple strategy to win. Muggum had managed to win outnumbered fights before even if we had a solid plan to kill him. And that thought almost made me and Pookie lead to try and kill him at a later time. But before we could make any decisions, Muggum potted up and started to rush but the thing I learned from this fight was that as long as you keep your cool and have a plan, you will always come out on top. Oh, 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 I killed him! No way! What? We immediately got the netherite and evacuated the scene. But killing Muggum gave us hope. We expected that getting the last piece of netherite to complete the set would be a piece of cake since Muggum wouldn't be a problem anymore. But little did I know that I would let my confidence get the best of me. And soon I would make my biggest mistake yet. It had been two days since I had gone to netherite, and I was itching to fight someone with it in my hands. Muggum happened to be online, and I wanted to kill him in a 1v1 as a sort of revenge for dealing with his crap for a month. I didn't know this at the time, but this was me getting cocky. I knew that killing Muggum in a 1v1 wasn't a problem, as we were similar in skill level, and I had the advantage. But that advantage was making me blind to the facts I should have seen before I even got online. He's gonna grab me in a second, bro. Muggum actually win. Muggum actually win. Oh, shoot. You don't win that. Dude, I'm scared of those daggers! Bro, just don't even worry about- Just don't even worry about- No, it. no, bro, those are three hard to hit! Guys, I have low disc speed. The fight was going very well. I was pretty much tossing Muggum around with the netherite armor. But it was around this time that the first red flag presented Wait, no, is that Tyrant? That's Tyrant! Wait, what? One of Muggum's teammates showed up to the battlefield. I didn't pay it much mind because it wasn't weird for spectators to appear during a major battle. But I should have known that there was something going on behind the scenes. More and more, things were happening behind my back without me having a clue. And eventually, because of it, the worst thing that could happen 
happened. Oh shoot. You guys really can't go one day. Please, please, please. Get on the back, get on the back, get on the back. What the fuck was that fun word? Get on the nether, get on the nether. I messed up big time. I ignored all the signs that I should have left, which gave Quackitus the chance to get closer and hit me with daggers before Mugum ultimately delivered the final blow. My ignorance delivered me this major L and now I didn't know what to do. I was sent right back to square one since Mugum had the nether pieces again, but this time I had no gear to fight him, meaning I would have to spend precious time I could use to stop Mugum instead wasted on regaining items. Mugum didn't make it easy for us though. A while back, he destroyed my only base and chased me around the server. It even got so bad, me and Pookie had to make a small base thousands of blocks away in the end just to simply catch a break. Getting gear would be a struggle, and I would be unable to fight Mugum for a while. But during the time that I was regearing, I made three new allies, which was good, but it made the grinding process take even longer. And while I was busy trying to get my new teammates up to speed on what has been happening lately, I got a call from Pookie. I found out who has the netherite chestplate. Okay, we can negotiate with whoever has it to get netherite before Mugum does. That's the problem. Whaleable kind of has it. I didn't want Whaleable to have a chance at giving Mugum that chestplate. So I swiftly gathered a small search team to scan the entire server to find Whaleable because if he got to Mugum and gave him the chestplate, everything I've done up to this point will be for nothing and the server would fall. But we couldn't find Whaleable and out of desperation, we went to spawn where Mugum was and tried to take the rest of the netherite before Whaleable could give him the chestplate. If we failed here, here, the server was doomed. I don't think I'm like careful. Wait, so do we run? Yes or no? Uh, I feel like I don't know. Is there a chance to drop someone? Uh, I, don't I don't know. They're also. Wait. You got pro block. Oh. Mugum. Mugum got pro block, bro. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna win this. We need to be worse than that. Fuck, so it's actual legend. Oh, Aaron's so low. Wait, dude, is Aaron here? So I think I can give you more pearls. Okay, yes, please. Um. Yeah, let's get it's a 4v3 one. Oh. Careful, so guess you can... Um... American? Bro, oh my god. No way! One of us died, and because I didn't want to risk dying myself, I chose to run away. But either way, this was the worst case scenario, because we had failed to kill Mugum, and now because of it, our worst fears had come true. Honestly, Mugum, this fight showed me that you're the right teammate for me. Honestly... Here you go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my Give god. Give me your chest plate. That is so menacing. He had finally done it. The full netherite set was in his hands. And now since he had it, he would soon divert his attention to punishing those who got in his way. And he would strike sooner than later. Oh, oh, so Mom's jumping me. Mom's jumping me. Mom's jumping me. Wait, wait. Mom's jumping. He's I'm full netherite. He's I'm full running. netherite. I'm he's, full running. He's, running. Oh, he's running. He's running. He, he He's going, my heart. He's, he's, going he's, going he's going for me, he's going for me. Mugum was so strong that all we could do was avoid him. My team had no choice but to constantly be on the run. Wait, who is that? Mugum, 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 I wasn't really motivated to do anything after that day. I was just scrolling through the private discord minding my own business until I saw a message. A plugin update had just went live on the server. Now usually these updates contain bug fixes, quality of life changes for its members, usually nothing too important. But this time, it was different. The dragon egg, which was formerly known as a trophy, just became the most overpowered item on the server. With this new feature, the dragon egg made all gems extremely overpowered. If you used the right gem and was skillful enough, you could kill anyone 
on the server, even any full netherite player. We really needed the dragon egg not only because it was our only chance to beat Mugum and his team, but also because if Mugum combined his netherite with the dragon egg, any chance we would have to stop him would be thrown out the window for good. But the thing is that the end fight on the server happened months ago, and the dragon egg was held by a duo, Dabby Cat and Silversaur, and they had just announced an egg hunt for the dragon egg. But during this time, I had real life obligations, so I would not really be able to participate much in the egg hunt. So I'll give you a short summary using my teammate Alray's point of view. So Alray and Sulubs rushed to find the dragon egg using a bunch of clues Dabby Cat and Silversaur gave to the server. Some of them were red herrings set by Mugum, and others they couldn't get there before Mugum's team did. Because of Mugum's team size and Alray and Sulubs being newer to the server, they were always behind on figuring out the clues. And by the time they got the location of the dragon egg, it was already in the enemy's hands. But this wasn't the end. The dragon egg hunt had a second part to it. The egg had to be returned to Silva and Dabby in five days for a prize, and our temporary teammate Wenbu, who was a one-week guest at the time, was willing to pay $500 for the egg. After surviving for five days and turning in the egg for the prize, he was told it was all a social experiment. The dragon egg was actually worthless since it was duped, and Wenbu responded by hacking and killing everyone until he got banned with the dragon egg in his inventory. So, what happens? Well, after Wenbu got banned, the admin destroyed all the duped dragon eggs, leaving the one in Wenbu's inventory. And it couldn't just stay in there because it was a one of a kind item. So Wenbu told the admin that I get all of his stuff, including the dragon egg. And since he paid $500 for it, nobody could really complain. And after all that, I got the dragon egg. I just got the most overpowered item on the server after doing virtually nothing to earn it. And while the entire Wenbu situation was panning out, my teammate Suloops had been designing a trap that could kill Mugum instantly, and he wanted to try it out on him. The plan was simple. Suloops would convince Dominoko, Mugum's teammate, to die near the trap, hopefully luring Mugum to the area. Suloops would then run into the portal, arm the trap, and wait for Mugum to trigger it. If things didn't go to plan, Suloops would run into a nearby tunnel with a second trap to get away before he got killed. If anything bad happened, I'd be on standby to help him. It was a pretty solid plan. Now all we had to do was hope that nothing would go wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Make sure to grab his boots. You don't have that shot in your boots. Okay, okay. Oh shoot. I just there threw I threw out my throat. There he is. Portal's oh, too obvious. What if they break the portal though? They're not, they're not. Okay, W, W, W. Get that, get that, get that, get that. Get down! They're sus. I think oh, it tires you! Huh? Please! Please, please, please! Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, it worked! Holy shit! His oh. armor was ass! His armor was so ass. Bro, why did he have it? Wait, I gotta light it. Oh shoot! Oh my god! How did he get through? How did he lose? Hey, Marfin, you gotta help him out. No, 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 no. I have more, I have more, I have more. Oh, wait, oh. you're gonna go through like another nether pool? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, fucking nerve wracking dude. That's too obvious, that's too obvious, he ain't going through that shit. Well then he's not gonna follow me. <laughs> oh, <he's> Wait, <laughs> block it off, block it off behind you, block it off behind you. Make make it look sus. Make it look... Is it sus or not? No, not sus, make it look like it, you're trying to like genuinely keep him off of you. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, please. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't going through that. Yeah, but no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mervin, can we 2v1 him? Although Mugum didn't die to the trap, we still got to see it in action, and it worked perfectly. But it turned out that Dom was actually never on our side and told Mugum about the trap, so they just decided to send an entire ad with some throwaway gear. But we kind of expected this, so we didn't add him to any critical group chats with any actually valuable information. So it wasn't all that bad. But we gotta think on the bright side. A trap that powerful would definitely be useful later. Anyways, I decided that it was a good time to stream. I hadn't done it in a while, and I just wanted to have fun chilling with my teammates in VC. Yeah, I'm streaming, bro. Wait, we were both like, actually streaming. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. On Twitch. He's streaming, uh, bro. He's I didn't streaming. believe him either, bro. He's actually creating content. He's being oh a content. Oh my god, creator. bro. You're gonna get stream sniped. It was moments like these that I realized that even though we weren't doing the best, we could still find ways to have good times. The intermission of peace was nice, but that peace was quickly interrupted while I was walking around the world minding my own business. <laughs> 
Bro. <laughs> Wait. Oh, bro, Will was attacking me, bro. Will was attacking me. I was attacked by Wellable, and he wanted to take the dragon egg from me. Usually, I would not be super worried if someone other than Muggum attacked me alone, because I am ranked the third best PvP on the server, and with the dragon egg, I could easily take out pretty much anyone. But in that same list, Wellable was actually the best PvP on the server. And even with this massive advantage, not taking him seriously would be a death wish. Negative one thing. Uh, negative 35, positive 44. This type is more important than Muggum. Muggum is like less relevant than music. Honestly. We're gonna go and mess it up. <laughs> I just read like Ryloneth and Gritty Nova and all of them. Oh, wait, there's, a lot of of wait, there's quite a bit of them online, huh? Can I watch? No. He is straight now. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me check court. I popped one of them. Let's go! You got this, you got this, you got this. With the help of the dragon egg buffing my speed gem, I was actually winning the fight. But soon after Wellable popped, he changed his gem to the life gem, which now made him extremely tanky. And what was even more worrying was that Muggum had arrived to the battlefield, meaning that if I managed to kill Wellable, I would have to deal with Muggum after I've already expended all my resources. Winning this way was close to impossible, so I needed a plan. No, 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 we, we should we should trap it, trap it. Yeah. Can we pull a green and go high in the sky and drop team team egg guards? <laughs> no, 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 do what? Did you see that clip? I, I send in the group chat. Oh, the uh, portal? The tie rat thing. Yeah, yeah, Let's do that. Silus wanted to try the trap he used on Tyrod earlier on either Muggum or Wellable. So while he was building it nearby, I had to survive for as long as possible. I'm here. Okay, Murphy, I'm 300 blocks away, but I'm, I'm making a portal trap. And Wait, you're gonna here. lead him to it. Where, Silus, where? Come to negative 3500, negative 4280. I broke the back. So when you go through, don't break any blocks. Okay, okay. Just go what, out What do back. I do? Okay, is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay, Murphy, do you want to pull this off now? The trap was ready. Now all I needed to do was find an opportunity to go through the portal. But there was still a problem. It was too early to run away. So far, it had been a relatively fair 1v1. And if I fled right now, it would be too obvious I had something planned. And it didn't help that Muggum had spotted Mock Todd lurking around the area. Muggum and Willable aren't stupid. If I left right now, they would not follow me. I needed to look like I had a reason to run away. Then it hit me. Muggum. The only reason he let this fight continue as a 1v1 was because he knew that if he joined the fight, I would just run away. He wanted the dragon egg, so he couldn't risk me getting away with it. So what if I somehow got Muggum to try and enter the battle, therefore giving me a valid reason to try and run away through a portal? I didn't know how exactly I would do that yet, but I had to stay in this fight a little longer to find an opportunity to pull it off, even if it meant increasing my chances of dying and losing everything. This was one hell of a gamble, but I was willing to take it to get the nether egg. So with the idea in mind, I continued to battle with Wellable, knowing that if I failed, everything would have been for nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get out. I'll walk out. Once I come in, then you, and I get out. Then no oh, I'm Be ready. I'm gonna pot up, and I'm gonna head over there. Do you go Murphy, through? Go through. Dude, you got nine gaps, dude. Eight, Murphy. seven gaps. Fighting any longer was beginning to get dangerous. My golden apple count was in the single digits, and no matter how low Wellable got, Muggum wasn't budging. It was beginning to look like this would be just another major loss I would face as Muggum's team grew to be unstoppable. But in that moment, I saw my opportunity. I was losing an exchange with Wellable, and if I happened to be next to Muggum, he might think I'm low and feel tempted to kill me on the spot. So right when it looked like I was losing, I ran closer to him, hoping that he would fall for it. The OG portal, by the way. Okay. Yeah, this kid! Alright, do that then. Go through! Muggum had taken the bait. Now all I had to do was get through the portal and hope the plan worked. Don't, don't <laughs> mind my, don't mind my, don't mind my. Oh my god! Doing... I don't have my pickaxe. Dude, look at the back of Yes! Let's go! Yes! <laughs> Muggum, 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 I, I'm getting real, I'm getting real. I got. Did we get it? Did we get I it? Got, I got two, got two pieces. I'm the first though. We had gotten the full netherite set, but Wellable survived the explosion with his life gem, so we still had to get out alive with everything. Doesn't matter. Oh, he's, oh, chasing, no, he's chasing, he's chasing, he's chasing after my ass. He's he's run, 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 run. Come on, guys, we haven't won yet. Oh, let's go! Run, 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 run. We haven't won yet. 
Where are Get you? out! I'm here. Shulus, I'm here. Shulus, I'm here. Uh, Get out! Help him! Remember oh, that Mugga won't take this out. Last time we beat him with Netherite, he came back with his back on set. Murphin, where are you at? Oh my god, you're actually scaring me. Where are you? Give your cords, give your cords. Wait, where are you? Where are you? I'm, um, give your I'm, cords. I'm moving up there, moving up there. Yeah, Mugga's here. Alright, good, 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 good. He's stalling for Mugga. He's trying to protect, he's trying to throw away. Okay, dude, we need to run. Murphin, get up. Murphin, come here. Murphin, come here. Where are you at? We're running, we're running, we're dipping, we're dipping. Just run away, just run away. Don't let them. We need to keep the whole set. Bro, I'm dead serious. They might stream. Negative 300, negative 700. Alright, run, 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 I'm I'm low on pots, bro. You run, you run. If I die, it doesn't matter. You run, Zeus. Get out of here. They're just gonna pick me off. Should I? Get out of here, bro. I don't care if I die. Yeah, five thousand. If you can get back to the uh. Never. Hawkeye. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Bro, wait. Zeus has to leave, bro. He has the last. My helmet, bro. My helmet's gone. My helmet's gone. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, Zeus. Zeus, where are you? Wait, I'm out of there. I'm not. I I'll you. I'm dead. I'm alive. No. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Get out. Get out. Thanks to Mokhtar's sacrifice, Sulu's managed to make it out safely with the leggings. Now we just had to meet up. Is that you? Murphin, I think you. Is that you? Guys, get out of there. Just move. Alright. Okay. Fine. Come meet up. Come meet up. Yeah. This is it. After so long, the full leather is finally in my hands. Overjoyed is not the right word to explain how I truly felt in this situation. I had just spent four months trying to complete this daunting task, and to finish it off by using strategy to outplay my enemy felt like the ultimate W. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god! I was oh in the god. street, bro! I was in the street! Bro! Let's go! This rat work! Let's go! And like that, we had just gotten our perfect victory. Nothing could beat the ending we just got. And we felt like we could finally put this war behind us and move on with the rest of the season. But there is something I have to tell you. Although Muggum's time with the Netherite has come to an end, this is not the end of the Netherite story. There is still so much more that needs to be covered that if I did so in this video, it could very well end up being over 50 minutes long. And I don't want to do that. I need to upload something. Like this is getting ridiculous, bro. So this will be all for now. And the rest of the story will be told at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, maybe you should subscribe. I don't know. That's entirely up to you. I'll finally be going now. See you next video. Holy shit, I'm finally done.